looking at the answers you submitted some of them would be correct while some will not be correct but let's try to see what we can do um question one here says hate minus negative 10 hate minus negative 10 Whenever you see negative and a bracket and a negative, you know the negative sign must multiply themselves, okay? Is that there? Yes. And that will give us positive. And whenever you see positive multiplying a positive, it's also positive. But if you see negative multiplying a positive, you get a negative. And if you see positive multiplying the negative, it's also a negative. Are you listening to me, uh, Serenity? Okay. Oh, I want you to concentrate so that you'll be able to get the full details. Now, what do you think this is supposed to become? This uh, negative and negative here, will it change to positive? Would stay to positive. That, yeah, it will change to positive, right? So this is going to be 8 plus 10, and that should give us 18 positive. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, please. I'm going to give you, because I believe you can do it, I believe when you, when you listen carefully to it and you uh, take your time with it, you'll be able to get it. So the second one, we are uh, seven okay i think you should be able to do this one seven minus negative eight what do you think i should write yeah since it's missed since it's been, uh minus is going to change into positive so after Good. you change it positive you do seven plus eight then that's what which equals 15. 15. and that's good then the third one so you you get the point now so the third one there is no double minus in the third one at the middle you know like the second one has a double minus is that clear yeah yeah the third one has um is it two minus eight two minus eight so if you look at the two terms on the board there is a two right and there is a negative eight so the two is a positive. Why the negative eight is a negative uh, negative sign? The eight is a negative sign. So this is a positive. How many positives do we have here? That's two. Then how many negatives do we have here? That's eight. Okay. So which one has the highest population? Is it the positive signs that have highest population or negative sign that have highest population? Um. Is it the positive sign that has the highest population in terms of number or the negative sign has the highest population? The positive. Where? The positive, there are just two positives, plus and plus, okay? I mean, the, the, neg yeah, uh, the negative has the highest population. So our answer is going to be a negative, okay? Okay. Now, there are two positives. There are eight negatives, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if two positive cancels two negative, do we have positive remaining or negative remaining? Yeah. Yeah. If two positives cancel two negative, do we have positive remaining or negative remaining? Positive remaining. Did you say positive? Look at the board. We use two positives to cancel two negatives. So what is remaining? Is it positive or negative? Negatives. How many? Uh, you know, there were eight. And we use two to cancel the two. So how many will be remaining? Six. Six negatives. So that's why I would say two minus eight is six. Uh, it's negative six, OK? Okay. Okay. And I think I can see negative six here. Maybe you get it. Maybe you didn't get it. 
negative six. So this should be correct. Maybe that was correct by chance, you know. But let's look at this one. But I believe you're going to get everything accurate well after this. Let's look at number four. We have negative nine, positive seven. Can you see it? Yes. Now, how many how many negatives do we have there? Nine. How many positives? Seven. So the negative has the higher population, right? Yes. So the answer is going to be a negative sign. Now, if we take seven negatives to cancel seven positives, we have two negatives remaining, right? Yeah. So what's our answer? Minus two. Is that clear? Yes. Good. Number five, please, I want you to concentrate because I might stop on some of them. I will just ask you to do some, which I believe you should be able to get. Then number five, say the fifth one, we got negative 10 and negative 12. Negative 12. So now look at this. How many negative do we have here? Um, then what do we have here? Don't just say 12. What do we have there? 12 negatives, right? Yes. So how many negatives all together? Twenty-two. 22 negatives, okay? Yeah. So you can understand what you're supposed to do now, right? Yes. Whenever they are both negatives, then... Don't miss uh don't don't misunderstand it or misunderstood it with this one. This one has no number at the uh, at the middle, okay? But more so it has a bracket. It has a bracket. So but this one they are just negative sign and negative sign added together to have increased negative, okay? Then number six. We have 10 minus 11. Oh, sorry, 11 minus 10. I'll write that again. 11 minus 10. Okay, look at this. What's the sign of the first number? Is it positive or negative, the first number? Positive, right? Yes. What about the second number? Is it positive or negative? Negative. Negative. So which one has the highest population? The positive or the negative? The positive. So our answer is going to be positive, yes or no? Yes. So this is just 10, 11 minus 10, which is 1, but you know, we're just saying uh, 1 plus 10 is 11, then minus 10. So 10 minus 10 cancels, right? Okay. Then we have 1 there. So, unfortunately, you didn't get that one because you were carried away with a negative sign, okay? You put negative one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then number seven. We have negative 11, positive two. Negative 11, positive two, right? Okay. Okay, so... What do you think our answer should be? Should it be negative or positive? Given the fact that the negatives are 11, the positives are 2. Please concentrate and stop uh, playing with your video. I've got my video is on. You said? My video is on. Yeah, it's, I could see it blocked. That's what I'm saying. So... Our answer, given that there are 11 negatives and there are two positives, will our answer be negative or positive? Mm. 11 negatives, two positives. So will our answer be negative or positive? Negative. negative? negative, because that's as the highest population. So if we remove two out of the negatives to cancel <laughs> two positives, what do we have left? What do we have left? If you take 11 out of 2, 
Yeah, if I take two out of the negatives to cancel the two positives, so what do I have left? I have negative nine, right? Yeah. So I'm going to give you some time to put down this number one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, and seven. Once you're true, we're going to move on, okay? Yeah. Continue with the remaining ones now, once you're true with the ones above. Now, the number eight uh, says, let me see, number seven was 11, negative 11 plus two. The number eight is two minus nine. The eight is two minus nine. The two numbers uh, we have on the board, are they both positive or negative? Please don't try, please just listen. The two numbers in that number, question eight, are they both positive? Are they both negative? Or is one positive, is one negative? One positive and one is negative. Good. How many positive signs? Two, um, right? Yeah. How negative. many negative signs? Nine. So okay. what should be our answer? Should it be negative or positive? Negative. Good. So what do you think it should be if we remove two of the negatives to cancel two positives? So how many negatives do we have left? Seven. Seven, that's correct. Then number nine, we have three plus nine. That is just as simple as anything because there's no negative sign. So this gives us 12, right? Yeah. And number 10, we have negative uh, five and negative 11. Yes. Negative five, negative 11. So, the two numbers are both negative, right? Yes. Should our answer be positive or should it be negative? It should be negative. Negative, uh, because when we're not multiplying, okay? Uh, Is that clear? Yes. We're not multiplying. So, because it's like you have five negatives and you're adding 11 negatives. So, how many negatives altogether? Um... 15. You said 15 or 16? Oh, 16. Negative 16. That's good. Number 11, we have 10 minus 11. 10 minus 11. So the two numbers, one is positive, one is negative, right? Yes. The negative has a higher population. So our answer should be negative, right? Yes. Now, what do you think the answer should be? If we take 10 negatives to cancel 10 positives? Twenty. Wait a minute. No, one. one, right? One, one, one. Because 10 of the negatives to cancel 10 of the positive, then we have only one remain negative. Okay, number 12. Yeah. I want you to please concentrate and don't write here. Number 12, we have 8 minus 7. This is just a normal uh, subtraction. You know, you have 8, you take away 7, you have 1. And number 13, we have, okay, now look at this one. They have put some bracket, a bracket there to confuse us or to see whether we know what we're doing. That is 12 plus a bracket of negative 7. I mean negative two, okay? Yeah. Remember what I wrote at the top. What is minus times plus? Minus. Minus, good. So this is going to be 12 minus two, right? Yeah. And what is 12 minus two? You know, take away two from 12. 10. 10. That's correct. And number 14. I skip any number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 12, 13. So number 14 is 12 minus 6. So 12 minus 6 is simply 6. Then number 15. Oh, look at this one surrounded with minus signs. How many minus signs can you see there? So we have negative 7 minus negative 12. Well, we'll firstly deal with the middle minus, okay? Okay. We'll multiply them. So that will be negative times negative is positive. So we have negative 7 plus 12. Now, 
Look at the two numbers we arrive at. Please look at it. The 12 and the 7, one is positive, one is negative. So should our answer be negative or positive? Positive. Positive, that's correct. But I don't need to write it there. So if we take 7 of the positive to cancel 7 of the negative, what will be the final answer? 7 of the positive to cancel 7 of the negative. So... seven positives to cancel seven negatives and what do we have left we have some positive left how many a minus. no it's not going to be minus because this is positive and it has the highest population Nineteen. okay 19. no we're not uh we are not adding the two numbers okay i said this is negative seven if we take seven out of this positive 7, to cancel the negative 7, you know, to neutralize it. Then we have 5 left, right? Yeah. So this we cancel this, then our answer is 5. Just like saying 12 minus 7, and that's 5, okay? Okay. Good. Then number 16, we have 9 minus minus 4. 9 minus minus 4. Do you think you can try this? Uh... No. Remember, there are two negative signs there. So, what do they become? Uh, become positive, and the final answer is going to be thirteen, right? Okay. Number seventeen. We have negative three plus negative twelve. So that means we are adding the negatives. Then the negative wing is increasing. Okay. Okay. Because the plus is ineffective. Plus times minus is minus. So when you have three negative, three negatives and you add 12 negatives, how many negatives altogether? Uh, you have three negatives and you add 12 negatives. Three neg so three plus 12. Yeah. So that's what? How many negatives altogether? 15. That's minus 15. Do you understand? Yep. Then number 18, we have um, negative 3, okay, no, negative 8 plus negative 11. The same thing, negative 8, then you add negative 11, okay? <laughs> so how many negatives altogether? Um, 19. Yeah, negative 19. Then number 19, we have 11 minus negative 5. 11 minus negative 5. So, it's going to change to plus, then 11 plus 5 is 16, right? Yeah. Then number 20, we have 9 minus negative 1. So, what do you think the answer to this one should be? Okay. What should the answer to this one be? Eight. Wait, no. Okay, what should be the answer? Ten. Ten, minus because ten. the minus plus minus is plus. Fine. Ten. Then number 21 is uh, negative two, then negative seven. What should be the answer? Negative two, negative seven. The answer is going to be minus. Yeah, so, the answer is going to be minus. Oh, yeah, it's going to be positive because minus times minus equals positive. Wait, it's not going to be positive because we're not multiplying it. We just have a negative 2 and we're adding a negative 7. So it's going to be negative 9, okay? Okay. We only multiply when we see a bracket. Is that clear? Yeah. Only multiply one say brother. So um okay, that's number twenty one. We have two more, so so let me do it here. Number twenty two. 
6 minus minus 4. What do you think this should be? So this one your tangent, so the auto is going to be positive. So what are you going to do now? You're going to do 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. But you have to good, the moment. good, good. And the last one, negative 2, then minus minus 11. Do you think you can do this one? Alright, let me just look at for a sec. Okay. <clears throat> oh, like this stuff. What do you say? So, what do you say? calculate yeah this this changed to plus right so that means you have two negatives and 11 positives then yeah. the answer is going to be positive then it's going to be positive nine okay okay you can put everything down once we're done your sister can come up once you're done with that so we want to look at all of these okay you said you were able to do the first one right yes okay what's your answer for the first one nine over ten what do you get nine over ten nine over ten right yes and i think that should be correct but let's check it all together so number one says two over five plus 5 over 10 we will look for a number that 5 and 10 can divide and the smallest of such number and that is 10 so this is going to be over 10 so how many times does 5 divide 10 that's 2 times then 2 times 2 gives us 4 and how many times does 10 divide 10 that's 1 time 1 times 5 gives us 5, okay? Then we get your 9 over 10, which makes your answer correct. Is that clear? Okay. So let's look at the second one that you said you were unable to do. 4 over 9 plus 3 over 12. Are you with me? Yeah. Good. You're going to look for a number that 9 and 12 will divide, and it should be the smallest of such number. If I pick 12, 9 cannot divide 12. So let me look, let me look for multiple of 12. The next multiple of 12 is 24. Is that correct? So if I pick 24, can 9 divide 24? The answer is no. Okay. Then what's the next multiple of 12 after 24? That's 36, right? Can 9 divide 26? The answer is yes. Okay. Is that clear? Yes. Good. So how many times does 9 divide into 36? That's 4 times. Okay. okay. 4 times 4 gives us what? 16. How many times does 12 divide into 36? That's 3 times, right? Yes. And what is 3 times 3? That's 9. Then, what is 16 plus 9? Sixteen plus 9. Yeah. 16 plus 9 is... 25. 25. So we have 25 over 26. I mean over 36. And we cannot reduce it further. So that becomes our answer. Let's try the third one. 1 over 4 plus 3 over 5. 1 over 4 plus 3 over 5. Now, we're looking for a number that 4 and 5 can divide. Since 4 cannot divide the biggest number, which is 5, Let's go for the multiples of 5. If we have 10, 
4 cannot divide 10. If we have 15, 4 cannot divide 15. So if we have 20, can 4 divide 20? Can 4 divide 20? Um, yes. Yeah, so we pick 20. We pick 20 because 4 can divide 20, and it's a multiple of 5. Is that clear? Yes. So how many times does 4 divide 20? That's 5 times. 5 times 1 gives me 5. How many times does 5 divide 20? That's 4. 4 times 3 gives me 12. Then my answer is going to be 17 over 20. Is that clear? Yes. Number 4. Let's look at number 4. We have 2 over 5 plus 1 over 3. The smaller number 3 cannot divide 5, so we can pick 5 as the common denominator. No. So we go for the next multiple, which is 10. 10 cannot be divisible by 3, so let's go for 15. Can 50, is 15 divisible by 3? 15... 15 divided by 3. I mean, can it, can, is it possible? Yes. Good. So we can use 15, okay? So how many times does 5 divide into 15? That's 3 times. 3 times 2 gives us 6. How many times does 3 divide into 15? That's 5 times. 5 times 1 gives us 5. Then we have 11 over 15. Is that clear for you? Yes. Let's look at number five. Number five, we have two over five and three over ten. Two over five plus three over ten. The LCM is going to be ten because five can divide ten. Is that clear? So how many five in ten? That's two. Two times two, that's four. How many ten in ten? That's 1. 1 times 3, that's 3. We had it together. So the answer is going to be 7 over 10. Is that clear to you? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, let's solve about um, 5 more questions. Then I'll give you to do the rest, okay? Okay. So let's solve about 5 more. We stopped at number 5 now. So to number 10. I'm going to move it to the next page. So number six now. Number six. We have five over 14 plus three over seven. What's the LCM? Can seven divide 14? Yeah, so we pick 14. 14 in 14, that's one. One times five, that's five. 7 in 14, that's 2. So 2 times 3, that's 6. So we have 11 over 14. Then the next one, number 7. We have 5 over 9 plus 1 over 3. Can 3 divide 9? Yes. So we pick 9. 9 in 9 is 1. 1 times 5 is 5. 3 in 9 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. So the answer is 8 over 9. Then number A. We have 1 over 6 plus 2 over 9. Okay, let's look at this. What is the number that 6 and 9 would divide? 6 will not divide 9. Go for the next multiple of 9. What's the next multiple of 9? 18. What do you call it? 18. 18. Will 6 divide 18? Yeah. So 6 and 18, how many times? 3 times. Yeah, 3 times, then 3 times 1, which is 3. 9 and 18 is 2 times, then times 2, that's this is 4. So we have 7 over 18. Can you say this is simple, right? Yes. Number 9. We have 5 over 15 plus 3 over 5. 
So, I mean, yeah, I said three over five, no. Yeah, it's three over uh, five. It's three over five, right? So, yes. the LCM is 15 because five can't divide 15. So, 15 in 15 is one times five gives me one. Give me five, right? Now. Then five in 15 is three. Then times three is nine. Then we have 14 over 15. And the last but not the least, number 10. We have 3 over 9 plus 1 over 5. Now, 5 cannot divide 9. So we have to look for multiple of 9 until 5 can divide. Okay? Okay. So what's the next multiple of 9? The next multiple of 9 is 18. Can 5 divide 18? No. No. What's the next multiple? 27. Can 5 divide 27? No. What's the next multiple? 36. Can 5 divide 36? No. What's the next multiple? 45. Can 5 divide 45? Yes. So we use 45, okay? Okay. So it obviously looks as if we say 9 times 5 is 45. Is that clear? Yes. But don't make that mistake because in some cases we don't have to just multiply that way like six and nine did we multiply six times nine no did we multiply six times nine to get this no we didn't okay we simply consider the next multiple of nine to give us 18 and we check this and it worked is that clear yeah so we have how many times does 9 go in 45 that's 5 times then 5 times 3 is 15 then 5 in 45 is 9 9 times 1 is 9 what is 15 plus 9 15 plus 9 is 24 24 over 45 is it possible to reduce this Yes. How can we reduce it? By thinking what um what number can divide the top number and which number? Yes, yes, that's correct. So what number can we use to divide both of them? So we divide twelve by by we we divide twelve at the top and we divide nine at the bottom wait a minute it must be the same number that we use for both of them not different numbers so think of a number that will divide both of them 12 no 12 will not divide 45 so think of a number that will divide both the numerator and the denominator Yeah. Six. Oh, six will divide twenty-four, but it won't divide forty-five. Try again. So, what number can we use? Can we try three? Yes. How many three is in twenty-four? Um. I mean, 3 times what gives 24? 18. 8, not 18. So, 3 times what will give me 45? That's 15, okay? So, now we can't reduce it further. And that is what I will be allowing you to write. So, you can write there first... Uh, the first five, you got the first one, so write from number two to five, then I'll move it so that you can write it. If there is enough time, you're going to do some now, otherwise you're going to take them as homework, but keep writing now, okay? Okay. And if you have any question as you're writing, you should ask me, how do you get these, okay? Okay. All right. So, you can subscribe to this channel for more lessons 
I mean to get notifications when there are live lectures. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.